I have not been out of the house since the beginning of this month. The people who appear on TLC's reality show, My 600 Pound Life, usually have a lot of issues. They are typically addicted to food, sometimes stemming from a traumatic event in their lives, but regardless of how they gained weight, these people all rely on family and loved ones to take care of them. Ashley Dunbratcher was one of these people. Ashley lived with her husband and five-year-old son, Patrick. Since her husband was a truck driver and traveled often, Ashley was left at home with her young son. Instead of caring for her son while her husband was away, it was the other way around. Little Patrick was left to be his mother's main caregiver. When we're introduced to Ashley, she has trouble getting out of bed and bathing due to her weight. She relies on her son Patrick so much that she calls him her legs. Patrick would prepare food, do the laundry, and would take on most of the chores in the house since his mother was too heavy to move from the couch. There is an extremely sad moment when Ashley asks Patrick to take the clothes out of the washing machine and he has to literally climb into the machine because he's so small. Ashley completely recognized that things had to change. She was torn about how to get the help she needed, but soon began her journey with Dr. Now. Time was of the essence for Ashley since Patrick would be starting school soon and wouldn't be able to do things for her around the house. She also felt like she couldn't do things that Patrick wants her to do, like go fishing with him. Ashley's weight had become such an issue that she refused to go into the grocery store because she was so embarrassed by her size. She would drive to the store with her husband and then sit in the car in the parking lot. Despite her efforts to avoid people gawking at her, she would still have people come up to her car to stare or ask questions. She felt like the only way to make herself feel better was to head to get food, and her husband was on the same page. As soon as he would see that Ashley was upset, he would ask her where she wanted to get food. It was a dangerous cycle that kept Ashley in her state of desperation. Luckily, Ashley lived in Texas, and since Dr. Now works in Houston, she could easily make the trip to see him. Ashley and her husband drove for Ashley's first meeting with Dr. Now. As they arrived at the facility, Ashley began to panic because it had been years since she had stepped on the scale. She couldn't imagine what her weight would be, and she was scared to find out. When she realized that she weighed 725 pounds, the reality hit her. It was going to take a lot of work and dedication to be able to get healthy for her son. Dr. Now asked Ashley how she thinks he got this out of control at just 27 years old, and she told him that she feels like she never gets full and can eat enough for three or four people at one time. She also eats for comfort to try and block out the memory of abuse that she faced when she was a child. Dr. Now challenges Ashley to try to lose 50 pounds in one month. If she can do it, Dr. Now will take her on and perform weight loss surgery on Ashley. Once Ashley went home, she was finding it hard to stick to Dr. Now's suggested diet. She was still eating the foods that Ashley used to eat. Somehow, Ashley managed to focus and stick to the new diet despite the challenges at home. By the time she was ready to visit Dr. Now the following month, Ashley was making better choices. Ashley was disappointed that her husband wasn't being more supportive but she knew she needed to have the willpower to succeed. Ashley arrived at the treatment facility for her monthly weigh-in to see if she had been able to drop 50 pounds. When she stepped on the scale, she saw that she weighed 667 pounds and had lost 58. The weight loss was just what Ashley needed to get approval for the weight loss surgery. Dr. Now was pleased with her progress and Ashley was excited for the next step. When Ashley went in for her gastric bypass, Dr. Now saw that there was a very serious problem that might not make the surgery possible. While performing the surgery, Dr. Now saw that Ashley had an umbilical hernia. Dr. Now had to open Ashley up and fix the hernia before he could complete the gastric bypass. Once the hernia was fixed, everything went smoothly and Ashley began her recovery. Ashley began losing more weight and was able to start doing the chores around the house that she relied on her son to do. She also attempted to go to the grocery store by herself. She was able to get inside the store, but quickly had a panic attack. Ashley pushed forward and was able to continue on. Choosing better food options for herself was empowering, and Ashley was feeling good about herself. She decided that she needed to talk to her husband about his eating habits and how they're affecting her journey. Unfortunately, everything didn't continue as well as they were going. Ashley was experiencing uncontrolled vomiting and stomach pain. Ashley's husband rushed her to Dr. Now and she immediately went into emergency surgery. Dr. Now realized that Ashley was abusing her pain medication, which could cause damage to her stomach and become life-threatening. Ashley had a perforated ulcer, which is also extremely dangerous. 
Dr. Now was able to remove the ulcer, but the recovery would be extremely difficult. Ashley was unable to stand or walk. She had to work hard to regain the ability to walk. And although she could only walk with a walker, once Ashley was released from the hospital, she was able to walk on her own more and more. She went to see a therapist to help her get to the root of her issues with food. Ashley also finally had a conversation with her husband about his support and his food choices. Ashley was pleasantly surprised that her husband was very receptive to helping Ashley by making better choices. The therapy started to help Ashley see how she can work through her issues by dealing with her emotions in other, healthier ways. In the end, Ashley was able to lose a total of over 250 pounds. She could finally go fishing with her husband and son. And the best part of Ashley's story is that her son Patrick was able to finally just be a kid instead of his mother's caretaker. What do you think about Ashley's journey? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.